special episode and on this episode we're going to take you into the world of the exceptional not people who are just geniuses or uh, celebrities but individuals who have created their own standards and have made their own brand of aspirational living now if you're trying to figure out what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is three exceptional gentlemen from the kings 11 punjab yes we've got three cricketers from this team we've got adam gilchrist we've got ryan mclaren and our very own world cup winning boy pius chavla eating cooking and chatting with me on the foodie so come along and we meet these three exceptional people come on and we've got some exceptional people at this table people who are part of the kings 11 punjab team and all of them are people you all know i'm going to start with this tall gentleman on my left ryan mclaren welcome to the show thanks for nice to be here with you nice to be here nice to come on the show and uh, i hope uh, you're going to cook for us <laughs> i'll try my best i'll give my best shot at it yeah then our wonder boy from india the guy who's been part of the world cup win that india is all so proud of Piyush Chawla, Piyush. Thank you. Thank you for coming, man. Yeah. And then, how can I miss the legend? The legendary cricketer from Australia. Sir. How are you, man? Adam Gilchrist. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> and of course, one exceptional lady, executive chef ITC, Moria. Manisha, who's going to, who's going to put all these guys to work at some point or the other. But before that, I'd like to start with you, Adam. Yeah. This is a food show. So we're not going to talk too much cricket now. We're going to talk food. That's good. That's good. Simple question. Do you like food? Are you a foodie? Love it. Love it? All, all types, all, uh, all varieties, all flavours. So Indian food is, is number one, two, high, three, where? High on my radar. High yeah, on your very, radar. Very, very high. Uh, you go to, the, to England, to South Africa, say Australia, where you come from. Is the food different or? Uh, I think, obviously, you know, the, the, the countries you mentioned there, you talk about the UK and even South Africa, obviously culturally are, are probably more similar to, to what we're used to as opposed to the subcontinental region. Sure. Uh, even the West Indies changes again, they've got their own unique sort of dietary yeah. habits and, and yeah. cuisine there as well. So, um, yeah, but uh, I mean, in sport, there's a lot of talk about carbohydrates and getting your energy up. Hot, but that's part it? of the joy of trying to find within the local food groups, um, you know, what, what those foods are. But uh, yeah, it's all part of the experience and, and one that we're all blessed to be a part of. Absolutely. And since you were talking about all parts of the world, I'm going to ask Piyush over here. Piyush, you are to, you're a North Indian boy, yeah? But you went and uh, stayed in Sussex, played over there, a county cricket. That's away from home for a no, good young Indian boy to stay away from home. It was very difficult to start with, but uh, later on, you know, I managed to find some Indian restaurant over there. And I used to go there most of the time. And, Fortunately, Yasser was there from Pakistan, uh, so he's the one who used to cook food for me, so I really enjoyed that. <laughs> ah, so he found a fellow teammate to play, uh, cook for you. <laughs> so you didn't try your hand at cooking? Huh? Well, I'm very bad at it, so I never want to try it. But today I'll try for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's amazing because uh, we, we Indians, we young Indian boys, pretty much never enter the kitchen. So when he must have left far away from land, from the homeland, must have found it quite difficult. It's a bit depressing. No? Yeah, to start with, it was you know very difficult for me. And you know, first few days I was thinking I'll just come back home because you know I was missing my mom, parents, uh -huh. like and food basically. You from South Africa. South Africa also has got a, a fairly interesting uh, cuisine. But is this whole mom's food business? Uh, uh, would a young South African boy also talk about his mom's cooking? It's worldwide, isn't it? Very much so. I, I, you know, as as the speech has said, I think it doesn't really matter where you stay in the world. Mm. I think mom's mom's food is always the best food. You know, when you uh, when you're a young man growing up. But you've been good with Indian food. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, I think as you said uh, previously, the. The challenge of, of getting to understand and know the different regions in, in India and, and what how the food um, changes when you travel from one place to another has been very interesting but also a great experience. Men in Australia come weekend are out on the, into their gardens or taking out, uh, taking off into the countries and everybody likes to get onto the barbecue maybe. Do you sort of cook? Yeah, it probably, my specialty is probably the barbecue uh, or the braai as they call it in South Africa. In South Africa. But uh, yeah, Australian men are very 
machoistic about their barbecues. They like to think they've got it all under control <laughs> and no one's allowed to come up and touch anything or do anything, but uh, very territorial we are. Yeah. But, uh, when you say that the Australians love doing their barbecue and uh, don't, will not let anybody near, is it only the grilling or even the marinating and everything? Uh, would be yeah, done? all of it, whatever. If it's got something to do with the barbecue, it's the, it's the man's job. And then my wife comes and tidies it all, fixes it all up, all the, all the damage I've done. We've got this exceptional lady here who's now going to put you guys to work, but uh, you've been you've been now here with the ITC for, for, for a, quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. So you've sort of met all kind of people who've eaten your food. Yes. Yeah, you've also, the ITC has hosted uh, the, the, the IPL teams for the longest time. Yes, we've been hosting from the very beginning. Uh, Are they well behaved when it comes to food? Uh, Are they fussy? Not at all, not at all fussy. They're yeah. quite adventurous and they like to eat in all our outlets. Yeah. We, so I think I see them eating everywhere and I, I hope they enjoy that. <laughs> Piyush, uh, what's your favourite food? Well, I love eating Rajma Chawal. This is a true Punjabi yeah. heart. <laughs> Rajma Chawal. Yaar. <laughs> You've been coming to India for a very long time. Yeah. Out of all the Indian foods, is there anything that you have a special sort of liking towards? The northern tandoor type cooked stuff is great, but I'm a big fan of the, the gravies too as well. So butter, chicken. butter chicken and butter chicken. Get the get the naan bread out and mop it up. And <laughs> get the writer and a bit of bindi and so on. But uh, yeah, it's it's all good. Could we talk about the food in South Africa? Is there a variety of food? Does it change as you move from uh, different parts of the country? Or what, what, what is staple? Meat and beef and cobs and vegetables, and, you know, that's, that's basically the staple diet. Meat, meat, meat and more meat. In yeah, meat, meat, Even the vegetarians like a bit of meat on the side <laughs> of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when I listen to both of you all, I feel like migrating immediately to one or the other country. <laughs> you know? Because the amount of meat and good meat that you get there, uh, Australian lamb chops and South yep. African steaks and... Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> but besides Rajma Jawal, you've been travelling. What other, besides Indian food, what other food that well, turns you I on? I started off traveling, so you know, wherever I used to go, I used to look for Indian restaurants. <laughs> but now I really enjoy Thai food. Ah. I love it. Yeah. And apart from that, and not exactly Japanese, but I enjoy sushi a lot. Oh, like, you like sushi? Oh, I love it. That's a lot of food talk, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> and the mouth is beginning to water. <laughs> yeah. So I think we should start heading towards uh, uh, Manisha's kitchen and see what's in store for each and every one of these exceptional men.